Hello, everyone. Finally, I have one last class left, and then I can go home and rest. I'm so tired from the day. Okay, guys, class is over. Pack up and go to your next class. I can finally get out of here. Hey, JJ. Hey, Mikey. Let's go to the recreation while there's still time. Buy some chips. Okay, good idea. I guess we can leave our stuff in the classroom and go get something good to eat. Last class is gym class, so there's no point in taking briefcases. Yeah, that's cool. So what do you want to get? Hmm, I was going to get chips, but maybe, hmm. Some kind of chocolates. No, I definitely want chips. Okay, I hope you'll share and we can eat together after gym. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Here you go. Class starts soon. Already? So we should get going. Um, yeah, the bell's ringing. Let's get to class. P.E. is probably my favorite class in school. Okay, kids, hurry up. Come on in. You've got your normals for the shuttle run today, so warm up. You're going to have a test. Wow, I got to hurry up for my speed test today. I have the high ground. It's over. Get down. Well, as usual. All right, kids, that's enough. Go outside and line up. I'll explain the test. Wow, it's a nice day today. I hope we get to play some football or basketball today. Hey, Mikey, what do you think we're going to play today? I hope so. Me too. It's a good day. Yeah, yeah, quiet. The teacher's here. Don't worry. He can't hear us. It's okay. Bro, I'm listening to the test. And so all you have to do is run a few laps and come in first. I run very fast, so it's no problem for me. I love gym class and I never miss it, so I always get good grades in it. And I actually like to work out. It's good for my health. So I'm confident of winning this race. How are you doing, Mikey? Don't touch me. I'm going to fall over. Wow, you're tired already? We're almost at the finish line. Hang in there. It's just a little bit left. Hey, guys, I'm first. Get in here. Oh, man, Mikey, that kid passed us while we were talking. I'm embarrassed. Let's go see him. Hey, you guys want a cool story? Well, maybe. So I heard there's a real ghost in our pool at night, you know? Ghosts? Yeah. That's ridiculous. That's true. I've heard that. There's no such thing as ghosts. A real ghost. It's insane. Hey, JJ, maybe ghosts do exist. We could come here at night and find him. Now, why would you tell him that? Wow, guys, that sounds very dangerous. It's not dangerous. It's stupid. Ghosts don't exist. You're laughing at me. You know, I'll just sit here for a while. I can't believe you believe in such nonsense. Relax, JJ. Ghosts are made up to scare children. Yeah, yeah, sure. They don't exist. They don't exist. It's a fantasy. And if they did, why hasn't anyone seen them then? Yeah, sure. Two hours later. We're almost home. Yay, finally. We'll have to do our homework and maybe ask our parents if we can go for a walk in the woods. Yeah, I'd like to go out. That'd be cool. It's cool there now and we can have fun. I love looking at our house. Why do you say that every time we come home? By the way, the lights are off. Did you forget? About what? They're having a picnic on the porch today. They said so a couple days ago. Yeah, that's right. I totally forgot. They must be around here in the garden. We should find them. Maybe they've already cooked something delicious for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said it's going to be something cool. I really hope so. Hey, kids, hurry up and get over here. Oh, it's mom and dad. We're almost ready. Come on, kids, come on over here. Food's on the table. Yay, we're on our way. It's cool to have a picnic outside in this nice weather. I can already smell the delicious food. Yeah, it's all set. What about dad? What are you doing, dad? I make steaks. Cool. I'm going to sit here for a while. It smells like delicious, juicy meat. Here you go. It's cooked meat. Wow, thanks. Now I'll sing it. Just a little rest after the long walk home. Yeah, take your time. I got some more steaks coming up, so if you get hungry, we got it here. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Come on. I'm watching. Throw it already. Come on, look. I'm throwing it. Wow, that's not bad. Let's do it again. Wow, I almost got it. It's your turn. Maybe I can do it now. Go on. Come on. So close. I've been practicing throwing the ball. Not bad, not bad. But look, I'm about to get hit. Maybe I can do it better. Hey, kids. It's getting dark and it's time for bed. Yeah. So let's go home. Yeah. The sun's going down and the evening's coming. We're going. We're going home already. Come on, Mikey. Yeah, yeah. Come on. I'm tired already. Let's go home. I'm so tired from the day. Me too. I want to fall asleep on my bed. Well, we could play some more. Mikey, I'm really tired. But okay. Yay, finally. I'm tired and sleepy too. The sun is almost over the horizon. Yeah. I think we should go to our room. Well, let's go. Tomorrow is a day off so we can go out and have fun. Maybe even ride bikes. You can ask your mom how she's doing and if she needs our help. Hey, mom, you need some help? Mikey and I could help you. No, thanks. Go to sleep. Okay. Well, mom said we should go to bed and she doesn't need any help, so... Let's go to our room. Yeah, let's go to our room. I'm tired and sleepy. Me too. I hope you dream about ghosts. Haha, ha, funny. I hope you dream of an evil ghost. Here's our room. I'll have to clean it tomorrow. It's an incredible mess. Never mind. It's bedtime and that's not a problem. Good thing my parents don't come over often. Yeah, well, it's getting dark and the sun's almost down, so yeah, we can go to bed and wake up early tomorrow and get things done, don't you think, Mikey? Are you asleep yet? Okay, he's fast asleep, though. So I can go to bed, too. Good night, Mikey.
Hey, hey, JJ, are you asleep? Good thing he believes I'm asleep. I gotta get out of here quick. I have to be quick and quiet before anyone wakes up to my footsteps. Well, we'll see about that, JJ. I'll see a ghost. Or that kid's a liar. I finally got out. We need to find out if that kid was telling the truth or lying about the ghost. And if he was telling the truth, we can scare JJ and show him the ghost and watch his face when he finds out that ghosts really exist. It's gonna be funny. A few moments later. Wow, I run so fast. I should have run the same way in class and maybe I would have been the first fall. I have to get to the pool and watch it. I think the ghost is either flying over it or it's about to appear at midnight and I've read that they appear around this time. Hmm, I can't see anything. Maybe from above I'll see him close. So where is it? I can't see anything on the bottom. Hmm, what's that sound? Ow. Hey, I definitely heard something. Oh, ghost, hi, I'm Mikey. You really do exist. Ow. Oh, no, no. Boo, 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 boo. Boo, boo, boo. Boo, boo, boo. Boo, 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 boo. boo. Six hours later. I had such a good dream, it's morning. Mikey, get up. We can grab a quick bite to eat and go for a walk. Hey, where's Mikey? Is he up already? He never gets up this early. I always wake him up. Maybe he's in the bathroom brushing his teeth. He needs to wash his face after a long nap. Uh, he's not here either. Well, I have to wash my face anyway, or I won't look pretty. Ah, that's better. At least I won't have bad breath, so now we just have to find Mikey. Hope he didn't run away. Not in the common room either. Where the hey? Where is he? Maybe he's in the kitchen cooking something tasty for himself. Meh, it's not here either. I'd have to ask my parents if he got up before me and went out to play without me. All that's left is to find the parents. Yeah, look how I can do it, yay. Whoa, honey, be careful. Huh, all right. Well, it looks like Mikey's not with his parents. Okay, well, we should ask them if they know where Mikey went. Looks like he went out without me. Hey, mom, dad, have you seen Mikey? Hmm, I haven't seen him since this morning, honey. Have you seen him? Honey? What? Mom, have you seen Mikey? What? I haven't seen him since you went to bed. Very strange, Mikey leaving the house alone? Someone's here to see us. Hey, what? Sorry to bother you. Wow, that's a cop. I have some bad news for you. Isn't that your son? Hey, it's Mikey. He went out this morning and didn't even call me for a walk. My apologies. About what? He was found this morning at the bottom of the pool, so he's gone. Oh, no, honey. What? What does that mean? How did that happen? Honey, it's not worth it. Mom, Dad? You couldn't lock the doors? I never closed them. How could this happen? I don't know. He just ran off and jumped in the pool at night. Well, it looks like he left you at night and jumped in the pool. What? Yeah, Mikey was a bright, smart kid. Too bad we lost him. I'm gonna miss him so much. I'm sorry to see him go at such an early age. I loved playing and walking with him. I loved him very much. I will miss him. Yes, we will all miss him. Hope he is feeling well now and will continue to do so. I will grieve for him. I loved him very much. I loved him a lot, too. Apparently, he decided to check out that scary pool ghost story and got into it himself. He should have done it for nothing. It was reckless and foolish, but okay. Hey, 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 guess who? Mikey. Wow, you guessed it. Are you a ghost? Your eyesight's not failing you, yeah. What's that, Mikey? How? Is that you? Are they real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm real. I can't believe it. I came back to tell you that ghost is real. He threw me in the pool. But for what? You have to help me get him out of there or he'll have new victims like me. Okay, show us where we need to go. We'll help you. Just follow me. Weird. All right, let's go get Mikey. Wow, Mikey just appeared out of nowhere. I didn't believe in ghosts, but now Mikey is a ghost and he's asking help. A few minutes later. Here we are at last. Yeah, that kid said that ghost was haunting the place. I saw him right here. So what do we do? He's freaking out about the noise, so I think we should make some noise. The last time I saw him here before I fell. Wow, well, I guess we can wait here until he gets here. I think our noise will attract him. Mikey, look! What to what? He's here! Oh, look, I told you they existed. Hit him! He looks scary. I can't touch him. Wow, you're so helpful. He's intangible. You have to exercise him. I'm trying. I believe in you. I was hoping for real help. We should call our parents. The noise will scare him. What? Mikey, are you okay? What was that, JJ? Yes, we are here. Get out! Come on, Mikey. You almost beat him. He's disappearing. Yay. Ha ha. I'm a great exorcist. I exorcised him. Yeah, it looks like it. Thank you for helping me out in any way you can. Yes, we are happy to help. It's good to have you back with us now. Hey, 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 kid. Hi. What? 
Where did you come from? What is that? A Nimbus. What? What is this? I don't understand where you're coming from. I'm here to pick up Mikey. What? He has to leave again? Mikey, we're gonna miss you so much. Remember, darling, I love you always. Don't worry, it's fine. I ran away to get rid of a bad spirit, so now I have to leave. Come on, I hope you're ready to rise to the occasion. Goodbye, Mikey, good luck! Well, that was weird. We had the ghost of Mikey come to us, and then we exercised the bad ghost, and now he's left us again. Well, I hope he does well. It's a very strange day. That was fantastic. Yes, it is. I hope he's okay, and that pool is free of evil ghosts. I think so. So you can jump in at once. Wow, it's really hot outside. There is such a thing. It would be cool to go for a little swim before anyone sees us. This school pool is now ghost-free and will be used for competitions. Cool. And swim a lot. Well, I think we should go. Soon the janitors or security guards might be here and they'll start asking us what happened here. I don't want to have to explain myself. Let's go, JJ. Yeah, I'm on my way. That was quite an adventure. I hope everyone enjoyed it. I loved it. Now I know ghosts are real. Six months later! Today I went to my friend Mikey's house to ride bikes together in the woods. He lives around here somewhere. You should ring the doorbell and see if his parents are home and let him ride bikes for a while. I hope they'll let us ride. It'll be boring if I'm walking alone in the woods and can't take Mikey bike. I'll knock and wait for someone to open up. At least Mikey home. Hello? Is anybody home? Who's knocking at our door? Who are you? I'm JJ. Mikey friend I went over to his place to ride bikes with him. Remember Mikey talking about a friend? Yeah, come on in. Mikey home, he's waiting for you. It's nice to meet you, JJ? It's nice to meet Mikey parents, too. Yeah, it's our pleasure, too. It's not nice to stand in the aisle. Mikey's on the second floor. He'll be right down. Yes, he'll be down in a minute. I'd like to warn you not to ride till late. It's cold in the evening, so don't walk too long or you'll catch cold. Mikey, your friend's here to see you. I'm on my way. Come on down. Wow, JJ, you're here so early. I didn't think you'd come. I'm early, so we'll walk a little longer. It's cool. We get to ride all over the woods and find cool trails for stunts. I hope you don't mind moms and dads. No, we don't mind having fun. But remember to be careful when driving through the woods. Yeah, we'll be careful. And come back before sundown. Wow, your parents really care about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're always like, anything can kill me right now. Why don't we go play on your computer? Because the outdoors is nice? Yeah, I think it's great. We should tell our parents. Besides, it's boring at home. So listen, mom, dad. We'll ride outside if we need to, and we'll go to the woods. But don't worry, we'll be back in time. JJ Garrett he's responsible. Yeah, sure. I told you, you can go to the woods. Thank you. We'll go for a ride and then we'll let you know how it goes. If anything, JJ can always call you or his parents and let them know if anything happens. Goodbye. Bro, I'm so glad we can ride bikes in the woods. I saw a bunch of shows about extreme riders going at high speeds. That's dangerous. Jumping on different bumps and going around trees. And it looked so cool that I want to do it again just like them. Whoever heard me. And I've got bikes like them, so I think we're a match for the sport. Let's go to your parents' town already. I can already feel the steep trail in the woods. Yeah, 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 it's very cool. But you know, it's very dangerous because if you fall off the bike at high speed, you can break your arm or your face. It hurts. Wow, those bikes look cool. Are they new? Of course, my grandfather gave them to me for my birthday. I don't know why, but he gave me two. He must have given you a second one in case you broke the first one. That's an interesting idea, but I've never broken a thing he gave me. There's a big track here. I hope I don't fall off my bike on the dirt. I Haha, oh. <laughs> very funny. Your face in the dirt? Yeah, that's funny. You know, sometimes you have strange ideas about what's funny and what's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and pick out your bike. Your bikes are your first choice. God, they're the same. Okay, I'll take this one because it's closer. Let's go. I'm tired of waiting for a ride in the wind. Yes, finally. I saw some bicycle paths starting in the woods nearby. I think they practice that extreme sport there, too. Or just someone who likes to ride in the woods. Yeah, I saw it the other day, too. If we go straight Straight ahead, we'll be on this track in no time. I think we should check out extreme sports. All right, let's go. But you know, I don't like extreme sports where you can get hurt or beaten up. It's dangerous to your health. Everything is dangerous to your health in life, even the air. What? It's full of germs and gases and stuff. Well, maybe you're right about something. So if you fall off your bike and hurt yourself, it's no big deal. Yeah, we're finally on that trail. Going uphill is so hard. Look at me right now, JJ. Yay, fun road. And then there's a sharp downhill. Wait, let's stop here. This is the end of the road. It looks like everyone stops here. I'm so tired of driving. I'm still full of energy. You want to see a cool trick? I learned it watching TV. Yeah, come on. But wait, don't go over there. It's a cliff. It's dangerous. Ha ha ha, don't be scared. I wasn't gonna jump. Look how cool I can ride on the back wheel. Wow, Mikey, that looks really cool, but careful. I'm scared when you get that close to the cliff. I can jump, ha ha ha, cool, right? I can do it all day long, even if I fall. What happens? It's not high. I'll only get a scratch at most. 
Oh, no, 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 Mikey. You're okay. Mikey, are you there? Answer me. That's not funny. Are you okay? Mikey? God, I have to go down and see if he's okay. I hope he just bruised himself and fell asleep. What am I going to tell his parents when we get home and his face is all smashed up from that jump? I need to quickly see if he's okay. I hope he didn't take a hard fall like that. It's very high up here and it can be very painful. Mikey, are you okay? Can you get that? Your bike's a wreck. Oh no, he's not well. You shouldn't have played on such a high slide. I told you to be careful, and if you had listened to me, you wouldn't have fallen from such a high height. What should I do now? You should call an ambulance quickly. They'll help him. Remember, you can always call an ambulance and they will come immediately to save you if you hurt yourself. That's what I heard in the ads. So what's the number, 911? Hello, my friend fell off a cliff on a bike path in the woods. Please help him. He's very hurt. What, fell off a cliff in the woods? Yeah, 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 in the woods outside of town. We're good to go. We're on our way. Don't move. The ambulance will come and help you. They'll heal you and you'll be fine. But don't move and don't try to talk. Hey, I can see the ambulance coming. You're gonna be okay. I promise. It's gonna take a long woo to explain to your parents what happened. But you're gonna be okay. And that's the most important thing. They're already here. They'll help you now. Hey, hey kid, step aside. The doctor's here. Where your friend is? He's here. I'll help him. He fell off a cliff. So, well, I see he's in serious condition. We'll take him to the hospital. But I won't promise anything. From the look he fell off this cliff and flew off on his bike. He could have broken a lot of bones. I think he's hurt badly. I'll take him to the ER. We'll give him some painkillers so he'll at least feel better. But I need a doctor to check him quickly. I think he has a lot of inside damage. I hope he'll be okay. I'm worried about him. He has parents who need to know about this. Come on, kid. Don't get in the way. Better let his parents know he's going to the fifth hospital. He'll be fine. I hope so, but I can't promise. Get him to a hospital with the best doctors. I don't even know what to say. Mikey was too careless about such dangers, and because of that, he fell off the cliff. I have to tell his parents what happened to him and that he went to hospital. Four to six days later. He was a great son. The first time I held him in my arms, I couldn't imagine being happier than being his father. But now I have to say goodbye to him. And I'm very sorry we got to spend so little time together. It's the saddest day of my life. I don't know what to say. I can't believe you're gone. I'm sorry, Mikey. I should have been more attentive to your hobbies and kept a better eye on you. Maybe you'd be alive now. I'm so sorry, Mikey. I didn't follow you, and that's why this happened. If I had known it would happen, I hope you're in a better place now, and you're well. His mom's gonna be heartbroken for a long time, and I don't think she'll recover from this shock. I tried to protect Mikey, but he wouldn't listen to me. You promised to keep him safe. Yeah, but he didn't listen to me. He said you're responsible. You little rascal. You're responsible for what happened to yeah, him. Yeah, this is your fault. No, it's not true. It's not. If it wasn't for you, he'd still be alive. You promised to keep him safe, and now he's in the ground here. I tried to warn him. You didn't try anything. But he wouldn't listen to me. You should have done better. And when he fell... Ah, oh, my head hurts so bad, what happened? Where am I? Mikey parents hit me and I passed out. They got mad at me for not keeping Mikey safe and hit me and then what? They dragged me down to some basement with a bunch of pipes and boilers. What am I gonna do? I gotta get out of here before they hurt me. How do I get out of here? There's gotta be a way out somewhere. I'll find it. No, 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 no. Now you're gonna live here for the rest of your miserable life. Yes, you're here for life because of your mistake. Wait, you can offer my parents a ransom. They're rich. No amount of money will bring my son back. No, they're not. You will pay for it with your life in our slavery. Now sit here and enjoy your stuffy basement. Yeah, take it for my son. But I didn't do anything wrong. He did it himself. I hate you. You're blaming my son for what happened to him. You're guilty of not watching him. You were responsible. Yeah, you're the responsible one. It's your fault for what happened. But wait a minute. No, we're leaving. Sit here and suffer. Bye-bye, and think about your sin. But how am I supposed to live here? While well, you're at it. Are you kidding? Don't leave me here. My parents will pay for me. They'll be looking for me. I gotta figure out a way to get out of here before they do anything bad to me. What am I gonna do? I gotta find some kind of loophole in this basement, like a vent or a pipe that I can use to get out of here or wait for my parents to find me. I don't even know what to do. I hope my parents are worried and looking for me by now. Three hours later. Wow, that's awesome.
awesome. JJ, how did you like my stunts? What happened? I was riding my bike and now I'm here. Wait, what? I think I got it. I'm a ghost now. That's too bad. I should scare JJ and tell my parents. I think they're sad right now. Yeah, first tell my parents and then scare JJ. In that order, it'll be funny. I have to run home quickly. I don't feel tired now that I'm a ghost. It's funny. I hope my parents aren't too sad. It's gonna be bad if they're crying now. Wow, how easy I got home. It was fast. Now I'm a ghost and I don't feel like I'm tired or weigh a lot. And because of that, I run like lightning. Hey, why did I see something through the ground in the basement? And why is the basement closed? There's someone down there. I gotta check it out. It's weird. It's like I can sense someone alive in here. I can sense living things. Wow, JJ, what are you doing in our basement? How'd you get in here? Well, there's gotta be something I can use. Hello. There's gotta be some kind of fixture to break down the basement door or ventilation. JJ, do you hear there's me? There's gotta be air coming in. That was there's a joke? There's gotta be something to help me get away from parents, Mikey. Great, he can't hear me. I'm gonna go crazy if I don't find a way out. It's not true. I can't stay here all my life. Someone will come after me, I believe it. I have to do something, I'll go crazy. There's nothing here. How can I choose? It's impossible. There's nothing here. I can't find anything. Wait, what? That never happened. JJ, it's me, Mikey. I'll help you get out. Mikey? What? You are here? What does that mean? You're a ghost? I'll help you get out? Am I going crazy? Or has this never happened before? What's going on? Mikey, are you here? Can you help me escape by breaking down the wall in the air vent? Wow. Okay, I believe I'm coming. Wait for me, Mikey. I'm having trouble moving after I got hit on the head. There's some bars. Break them too. And and I'll be able to get through. Thanks for helping me. There's another one here. This ventilator is covered in slush, dirt, and some other filth. All the walls are covered with it. We have to get out of here quickly. I think the exit is near. I can hear rain outside. Oh, this looks like a way out. There's only one last bar left, Mikey. Can you break it? And I'll be free. I hope your parents haven't found out I escaped yet. Mikey, please, break it fast. My heart is beating incredibly fast. Oh, I'm finally free. I'm free. Mikey's parents aren't around? I don't think so. I have to get out of here before they figure it out. If they catch me again, it'll be the end. They're still at home. I hope they don't know I ran away from them for a long time. Mikey, if you're here, can you give me a sign? How can I help you? I'm JJ here. I became a ghost and came to scare you, but you didn't hear me, and I helped you escape from my parents. Wow, I'm so sorry you became a ghost. Now don't worry about it. But why did you try to scare me? I'm a ghost. Isn't that what ghosts do? I thought it was funny, so I thought I'd scare you. But I guess you didn't see me before I got struck by lightning. I'm so sorry, Mikey, after all this. Your parents tried to lock me in the basement. E don't worry, it's okay. My parents freak. Okay, all right. And I'm a ghost now, so I don't need parents. I don't think I need much of anything anymore. I think I should run home before your parents find me. We can meet up later when it's over. I don't know if we'll see each other again. JJ, thank you for everything, and good luck. I'll slowly go away to scare people. Well, now that he's a ghost, I think he'll be fine, and he's not mad at me because he fell off a cliff and I couldn't do anything to save him, although I tried. The main thing is that I escaped and now I can get away from here. Have you ever fallen off your bike? Write about it in the comments. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. After Christmas, he stopped hanging out with me. It makes me sad. Hey, Mikey, open the door. JJ's here. Stop sleeping. Let me into your house. Just open the door already. Who's that loud one at the door? Wow, you're so beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I mean, where's Mikey? Who are you anyway? I'm JJ, his friend. Mikey, come here, honey. Your friend JJ is here to see you. A uh, honey? Mikey got a girlfriend? I'm already here. Hey, JJ. Who's that strange guy? This is my friend. I've known him all my life. He's a really cool dude. Okay, then come on inside. I'd love to get to know your friends better. Mikey, when did you get such a hot girl? What do you mean, hot? She looks too enchanting. Look, you shouldn't say those words. That's my girlfriend after all. But you're right. She's pretty cool. You're lucky to have such a good girlfriend. I'm so lucky. Let's go back to my house. Stop standing on the doorstep. I'm freezing. Look, how how could she ever fall in love with someone as boring and ugly as you? The only one boring and ugly here is you, JJ. Oh, you're wrong. I'm very popular with the girls. Hello again. Don't worry. The soup will be ready soon. All you have to do is wait a little longer and you'll be good to eat. Oh, that's awesome. It's been a long time since I've had a home-cooked meal. Oh, you're gonna love this, JJ. My girlfriend cooks perfectly. You can eat her food forever. It's so good. I order my own food a lot. And the last time I had a home-cooked meal was at my mom's 
Sue's house. Guys, we got a problem. I'm out of pasta. It's a very important ingredient for soup. Wow, soup without pasta is not cool at all. You think this is a serious problem? We'll go to the store and get you some pasta. Oh, Mikey, you always save me in dire situations. Anything for you, sweetheart. And JJ and I are gonna take a walk to the store. Bye-bye. I miss you already, Mikey. Bye-bye. She's such a good girl. Let's go already, good girl. I'm so lazy to go get some pasta. You could go get it yourself. Your queen has given you orders. Don't be lazy and do your duty. Oh, what a queen. I'm the king of the family. She listens to me and does my bidding. Ha ha, you're just a petty servant. Uh-oh, there are two stores here. There's an expensive store on the left and a cheap store on the right. Of course we'll go to the cheap store. We'll save money on pasta and use the rest to buy chips. And spending a lot of money on some expensive pasta is stupid. I agree with you. Let's go to the cheap store. We're not rich enough to spend thousands of dollars on pasta. And in an expensive store, they do cost thousands of dollars. Let's go to the store. I know a shortcut. Oops, after saying that, we usually get in trouble. Don't be afraid. Two hours later. Shortcut? Yeah, I know this road. Mikey, I think we got lost a long time ago. Let's go back. We're lost deep in the woods, and we're going to be eaten by bears. Stop making a big deal out of it. We're not lost. We're just a little off my path. We've been rubbing it in. We should call the rescue squad to come look for us. And there's that track. We've come to where I wanted to go. What the hell are you talking about? We're still in the woods. We're not getting out of here. Uh-oh. Mikey, it's too high. We shouldn't have come here. There's a beam. We can go forward right over it. Are you crazy? You'll fall and crash. We need to get down this mountain and walk to the store in peace. You're always afraid of everything. This is where you can use a stick to get to the other side of the mountain. What happened? if you fall off that stick. It hurts to fall off this stick. Stop talking. Get in first. I'll go after you. No way. I'm not climbing that thing for the life of me. Then stand here and see how cool and brave I am. I'll cross this girder with no trouble at all. You don't have to do that. Mikey, I'm scared for you. Please don't do this. It's too late. I'm already here. Look, it's actually easy to get across. Then come here. You don't have to stand there. And don't make any sudden movements. Huh, I can still jump around. I'm a real acrobat. Mikey, stop! Ah! Oh my god, Mikey, are you alive? You're not an acrobat. You're an idiot. We should go down there and see if he survived at all. What am I going to tell his girlfriend? Why did he have to climb that stick in any way? Yeah, he's still lying there. It seems like he'll never get up again. He fell from too great a height. Hey, Mikey, get up. Pasta can't buy itself. Get up already. This isn't funny anymore. Oh no, he's not waking up. Help me. Somebody, the man is sick. Oh man. Man, there's nobody around. Okay, phone booth. Maybe I can call an ambulance and help Mikey. This is my last chance for salvation. I hope they come quickly. Nine, one, one. Is that an ambulance? Yes, what happened? My friend fell off the mountain right into the road. Please help him. Okay, we're on our way. Don't worry, we'll be there soon. That's great. I'm waiting for you. And please make it quick. Well, guys, would you be willing to walk across that stick? Write about it in the comments. Five minutes later. Yeah, Mikey's already stopped breathing. That's too too bad. What a stupid idea it was to walk that stick. Uh oh, here comes the ambulance. Finally, they're gonna give Mikey a hundred shots and he's gonna wake up. Stop, don't run over my friend. Quick, give him first aid. He's very sick. Why are you yelling at me? Hurry and get him to the hospital. Yeah, your buddy's not cool at all. Where did it even fall from? Right over there. He wanted to walk on that stick, but he slipped off it and flew down. Yeah, the height is pretty big. Well, we'll have to take your friend to the hospital. Let me tell you, the chances of surviving survival are extremely slim. People don't live long after a fall like that. But you're a good doctor. You can cure all people just by touching them. I'm not a god. I'm just a doctor. Bye-bye. See you at the hospital, buddy. Bye-bye. I still hope you can get him back on his feet. It wouldn't be cool to lose Mikey at all. Get well soon, my friend. Friends, like the video, and Mikey will live. The more likes, the more chances Mikey will be alive. Three hours later. And here I am in the hospital. I'm here to check on Mikey and see how he's doing. He's lying in this room. The doctors say they're fighting for his life. Where's Mikey? I'm lost in this hospital. Whoa, you're Mikey's girlfriend. Come here. What happened to him? The doctors told me he fell from a height. Yeah, that's right. He was in such a hurry to buy cheap pasta that he fell off a stick between two mountains. He fell so hard he stopped breathing. Oh my God, this is so awful. I'm so worried about him. Let me see Mikey. I'm his girlfriend. I'll help him. 
They won't let you in there. Here I am. Did you miss me? Ha ha ha. Tell me what happened to Mikey. No more silence. We're all very worried about Mikey. Well, how can I tell you this? Anyway, Mikey is dead. We tried to save him, but he fell from too great a height. What? This can't be happening. It wasn't high at all. It could. All the bones are broken. He's dead. Oh my god. Poor, poor Mikey. How are we gonna live without you? I don't even care. I'm having lunch. Get out of my way. It's your fault. If it wasn't for your pasta, he would have stayed home. Ouch, looks like I've really upset you. Well, it's not your fault. Mikey was stupid enough to do it. Stop crying. Wait a minute, and where did she run off to? Ah, there you are. I didn't tell you. I'm sorry about Mikey too, but it's not cool to grieve for him forever. So what if he's dead? At least you're boyfriendless now, even though you're so beautiful. Why don't we go to my house together? Um, and what are we going to do there? <laughs> and we'll definitely find something to do with you, pretty lady. Oh, I'm the pretty one? Hee hee, I'm in. Let's go to your place and have fun. Oh yeah, I like that. What are we going to do at your house? Haha, ha, we can watch the coolest cartoons I have together. Sounds awesome. Moments later. There's my house. Way cooler than Mikey's square house, huh? You know Mikey didn't talk about you much at all. What could he have told you about me? I'm just an ordinary, uninteresting girl. Oh, you're clearly wrong now. You are a very attractive, beautiful, and kind girl. Hee <laughs> hee. Thanks, JJ, for those kind words. Those are the same words Mikey said to me before he fell off that mountain onto the road. I realize the loss of Mikey is a heavy burden for all of us, but I think he would want us to be less sad and move on with our fun lives. You're right. We have to move on and enjoy life. You betcha. And first, let's start by watching the cartoons I wanted to show you. Let's go. You know you're so cute. I'd lie in bed with you and watch cartoons with you for the rest of my life. Hee <laughs> hee. That's so sweet to hear. Oh, what's that cartoon you have on TV? It's a digital circus. It's my favorite cartoon. I love the main character, Pomni, so much. Wow, that's my favorite cartoon, too. JJ, you and I look so much alike. That's for sure. All right, get over here. I've been waiting for this moment to finally kiss you. Oh, yeah, I like you. Here I am. It wasn't that high at all. Where am I, by the way? Some kind of hospital. Lots of machines. It's weird. Did I fall off that stick and end up in the hospital? I shouldn't have been in such a hurry to get that stupid pasta. Oh my god, that's my body. Am I dead? I don't want to die, but I'm kind of not dead. I don't like this at all. It's not cool to look at your dead body. Oh my god, I've become a ghost. Now I can fly through walls, scare people walking by. I just don't know how long I can stay like this. Woohoo, I'm a ghost. Be afraid of me. Oh, what a shame I can't scare anyone at night. What am I supposed to do then? I'm already dead. Nobody needs me. No one's waiting for me at home. No one to pet me or give me candy. Oh, I have a girlfriend and a JJ. I'm gonna go scare them. Good idea, by the way. Oh yeah, JJ, keep going. You're such a confident boy. Haha, <laughs> you're such a pretty girl. You know why we don't watch cartoons? Why do we need cartoons? Let's just kiss and cuddle. Oh, hugs and kisses? It's not a cartoon, but I like it too. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, hey, JJ, what are you guys doing here? Oh my God, what is it? Why are you lying on top of each other? Why are you taking your clothes off? Oh yeah, JJ, you're the best. A cheating girlfriend and a terrible friend. I will avenge you for this. Oh, what's going on? No! Ah! Don't A! I, I, I! I don't even know what would be so interesting to do today. Maybe watch cartoons. Uh-oh. Someone's calling my house? I should open the door. JJ, did you fall asleep in there? Mikey, hey, you're here early today. Hey, JJ, I've got this cool bike in the house. Do you want to go for a ride with me? Great idea, Mikey. I'm in. The last time I rode this bike was when I was a kid. Oh, you can hardly sit on that bike at all. You're so clumsy and inept. So I'm gonna ride it, and you're gonna watch it. Is it hard to ride a bike at all? Um, I don't know, but it's worth a try. I'm not giving it to you anyway. Uh, okay. I'll watch you fall face first into the ground. I'm not going to fall. Some six-year-old kids can ride it easily, but I'm an adult and I can do it too. Actually, I'm an adult too and quite agile enough to handle a regular bike. I don't care how mature you are. The bike belongs to me and I'm going to ride it. You can just watch and be jealous. That's kind of unfair. The bike is red and I'm red, so I have to ride first. It's too late. I 
already sat on it. Look, this isn't as hard as I thought it would be. Wow, let me try it too. You wait, kid. Let the uncles play. Look what tricks I can do. Watch it, Mikey. You're gonna fall down again and cry all day. Ha ha ha. It's so cool to ride on one wheel. Everyone can immediately see that I am a professional cyclist. I can still jump on this wheel. Watch out. It's getting dangerous, Mikey. I don't want to take you apart. Out of my... Ouch! Ha 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 ha. You fell. Less bragging, Mikey. You're so clumsy. Get up already. Stop lying down. That was very painful, JJ. I landed squarely with my knee on the floor. I also fell right in front of a beautiful girl. Oh, well, yeah. I guess she's a pretty girl. Oh, looks like I'm in love, JJ. She's a very pretty girl. Then go meet her right now. Otherwise, she'll run away and you'll never see her again. Come with me, because I'm too shy to do it alone. Um, okay. Hello, beautiful. What's your name? My name is Elena. What's yours? And mine's Mikey. I liked you so much, you know? Oh my god, he's doing it so ridiculously. I'd like that, to go out with you sometime. That's a good idea, by the way. By the way, do you have any girlfriends for me, too? Because it's not cool to go out with you guys alone. Uh, I have a girlfriend at my house. I think I can get her to meet you. That's great. Then we can all go out, all four of us. It'll be great. Then meet me tomorrow near here. Nice to meet you guys. I really liked you, too. Bye-bye. I'm waiting for your girlfriend. Ha ha ha. She's so funny, I forgot to ask her name. Let's go for a bike ride. There's still plenty of time before tonight anyway. But I want to go out with that hottie already. I'm not interested in the bike. You'll still make it. Let's go for a walk already. Okay, let's go. Only this time I want to ride a bike. I think you've had enough for today. Uh, okay, suit yourself. I don't want to ride it anymore. Okay. Three hours later. And here is the exact house where that beautiful girl invited us. We should probably get her name. That's right. We totally forgot about that. This house looks too familiar, Mikey. I don't know what you mean. I got flowers for that chick. Whoa! Ha ha! Mikey! I see you've prepared well for this meeting. She's sure to love it. Go ring her doorbell. I can't wait to meet that girl. I liked her so much. And there's their house. Mikey, try to be polite and don't call anyone Chica. It's uncivilized. I don't care at all. I have a feeling she's gonna like it that way. Hey, open up. The guests are here. Hello? Oh, hello. Who are you? You're the guys Mickey was talking about. Wow, you're so beautiful. And you're wearing red too. I think I'm in love too. Too. So cute and pretty. Anyway, we forgot to meet. My name is JC and my friend Mickey. You know, I'm so bored at home. Oh my god, what a figure. I would totally date her. Uh, JJ, actually, I could hear you just now. Oh my god, please forgive me. It's just a thought out loud. Hey, Mickey, come here. Our boys are here. Hee <laughs> hee. Hey there, ladies. I brought a bouquet for my lady. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. By the way, what's your name? My name is JJ. And my name is Mikey. We're brothers. Two handsome brothers, let me tell you. Well, let's all go for a walk together. Let's go. Oh, that's what we came here for. Let's go play on the playground. Stop talking already. You know, I've never been in a relationship. I don't even know what it's like to hold a girl's hand to kiss her. It's horrible for me. Stop whining, JJ. There's a first time for everything. I think you're right. It's worth a try. Oh my god, is that the idiot I'm gonna date? Oh, that's a shame. Six months later. Oh my god, I've been asleep for so long. There's that fat cow lying next to me again. She's pissing me off. It's time to stretch a little after bedtime. Ouch, who's ringing my doorbell? Does Mikey need something again? Wake up, JJ. Open this door, it's an emergency. I'm coming, Mikey. Don't make so much noise. JC's still asleep. Oh my god. What else do you want? First of all, hello, JJ. Second of all, I found a super cool place to ride my bike there. Do you want to ride a bike again? Well, yeah, it's fun. Everyone needs to exercise to keep from getting fat. Let's go for a ride. Stop talking. Do you realize that I actually slept with my girlfriend and you dragged me out of the house and took me to some cool place? You could spend time with your girlfriend, too. I'm sick of spending all my free time with her. You and I so rarely go out together. Um, well, yeah, you're right. Let's go for a ride, then. I'm so glad you said yes. I promise you, this is the coolest place you'll ever see in your life. I'm gonna do the coolest stunt ever. You're such a braggart, Mikey. Come on, let's go show it to me. I'm not bragging. If you're an extreme sports enthusiast like me, JJ, you'll definitely love it there. Uh, okay. So where is this super duper place of yours? This is the place. Here on top of the mountain, we're gonna do all kinds of tricks. It's very easy to fall down here. That's why it's so exciting. This is a very bad idea. I don't even want to get on bike here. And I don't advise you to be here either. Wow, it's really high up here. Imagine how long it'll take you to fall down. That's really cool. There's nothing cool about it. 
Mikey, it's very dangerous. Please, let's get out of here. Oh, you're such a chicken, JJ. I'm not the chicken, you're the idiot. In this life, you must always be brave. It's the only way to be a real man. Mikey, you don't understand. This bravery won't get you anywhere. You're risking your life for nothing. Oh, you're such a whiny little baby, JJ. If you don't want to ride, just look at me. I've been riding a lot better since then. Okay, you're awesome. Now let's go home. Calm down. I have the situation under control. Look how I can jump on one wheel. I've seen it before. Hey, stop. Don't go backwards. You're going to fall. Stop joking around. Stop, Mikey. Uh... Oh, my God. No, Mikey, are you alive in there? I don't think he'd survive a fall from that height. I'm coming to you now. Friends, don't do such dangerous stunts on a bicycle, okay? I gotta go save Mikey. What an idiot he is. I have to help him out again. I hope it wasn't painful. Ha ha ha. Mikey, get up. Stop scaring me. Uh, Mikey, are you okay? I think he collapsed and he's not regaining consciousness. Oh my god. This is not good at all. It's time to call an ambulance on the phone. I hope they come quickly and help him. I don't want Mikey dying in front of me. Hello, ambulance. My friend fell down the mountain. Very good. Where are you now? We're at the highest mountain in the county. Okay, we're on our way. Wait for us. Okay. God, Mikey, hold on. The ambulance is on its way. Friends, if you want Mikey to survive, like this video. Uh-oh, what is that? That's the ambulance coming. That was fast. At this rate, Mikey will be fixed in no time. Hurry up and help Mikey. His leg must be broken. Hello, what's wrong? My friend fell down the mountain on his bike. Help him. Keep your voice down, young man. I'm the doctor here, not you. So what? Hurry up and give him shots, bandages. I don't know. Did he really fall from that height? Yeah, it was crushed to smithereens. He's not even recovering from the fall. He's very sick. Okay, then he needs to get to the hospital right away. We'll try to help him there. But let me tell you right away, there's very little chance of survival. What? Mikey could die? But my viewers will probably put a lot of likes on the video and he will survive. I have no idea what you're talking about. Come to the hospital for more information. We will do our best to save this cyclist's life. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you for your help. I have high hopes for you, doctor. I'm never riding a bike again. It's too traumatic. Friends, aren't you afraid to ride a bike? Write it in the comments. The doctor said to come to this particular hospital. I'm so worried about Mikey. They must be in this office. I'll wait for them here. Friends, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This way, Mikey will definitely survive. At least I'm willing to do anything to help my brother. Where's my boyfriend? What happened to him? Oh, it's Mickey. Whoa, JJ, you're here too. What happened to Mikey? He wanted to show me his cool bike tricks on the mountain, but unfortunately, he fell off it. What? You two idiots? Why didn't you stop him? Mikey's totally crazy. Hey. Hey, I tried to stop him, but you know how hard that is to do. What if he really dies? It'll be all your fault. Oh my God, I can't even imagine that happening. The doctor's coming and we'll find out from him. Hello, you must be Mikey's friends. Well, I have some not so good news for you. <laughs> What's so funny? Is Mikey alive? Uh, a little bit. A little bit? Show us Mikey right now. Okay, you're not gonna like this at all. Let's go to the room. I don't know how to tell you this. No more silence. Tell us straight. He's obviously hiding something from us. There's Mikey. He's got all his bones broken. Oh my god, but he's gonna make it, right? Unfortunately, he's dead. I'm so sorry. What? This can't be happening. That was my favorite boyfriend. And that's my brother. Oh my god, I can't live without him. I loved him so much. He died a long time ago. Why didn't you save him? You're a doctor. Some awful doctor. I can't live without him. I'm alone now, without a boyfriend. Hey, stop. You're the worst doctor ever. Mickey, Mikey was the best friend to all of us. Don't feel bad. Please, don't cry. I'll always be by your side. <laughs> you don't understand anything. Mikey was my whole life. Life, and now he's gone. We've been a family for a long time. Please don't walk away from me. Ooh, it's starting to stink already. What am I supposed to do with his body? I wish I could have saved him. What an idiot he is to start riding right on the mountain. All his relatives are on the mountain now because of his stupidity. I'm gonna go get some lunch. Wow, we had a nice ride with you after all. I'll have to learn more bike tricks. Yeah, JJ, where are you hiding? Where am I? It smells like alcohol and some kind of medicine. This place looks like a hospital. Uh, what? Is that my body? Am I dead? Oh, that's that's not cool at all. I shouldn't have done those super cool stunts on the mountain. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do right now. I've become a ghost. I can walk through walls, scare people who pass by, but I don't need any of that. I'd like to see my Mickey. Hey, stop. Wait for me. Don't run away. Stop taking offense. You have no idea how much I loved Mikey. We had fun together. We ate, we played, we slept, and now he's gone. Who do I live with now? 
I can help you with all of that. You should get some sleep. You'll feel better the next day. How can you help me with this? Mikey's the only one who can calm me down. I can calm you down. Come on, I'll help you sleep. Oh, uh, well, come on. I don't know what that's gonna do. You're gonna love it for sure. Ha 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 ha. You just need to relax. Mikey's not gonna see me now anyway. I'm not so sure about that anyway. You're so beautiful, you know. A good girl like you shouldn't go without a boyfriend. You're right. I am so pretty and without a boyfriend. Maybe you can replace Mikey. Of course I can replace him. You get down. Now you're going to enjoy it. JJ, please, be gentle with me, okay? Ha ha ha. I'll be the most gentle man in the world. Wow. You're so much better than Mikey, you know. I'm better than him at everything. Here I am. I'm still alive and I can see you. Oh, what are you guys even doing here? Yeah, you're the best. Wow. Ah ha ha ha. Wow. I feel so good. Good thing Mikey can't see us. Oh, what a freak that JJ is. I just died an hour ago. Oh my god. Seven months later. On this sunny, beautiful day, Mikey and I are playing on the playground. Hey, hey! We have a new playground at the orphanage! Yeah! Our center has repaired everything. And they also bought a lot of toys. It is so much more fun to be in our orphanage now. They also grew a new forest where we sometimes go for walks with our group. Too bad we're not allowed to go there alone. Guys, come here. Who's that? A teacher at our orphanage is calling us. It's time to go eat. You're already playing and you're late for lunch. She's calling us into the building to eat, Mikey. I heard that, JJ. You guys have been playing outside for a long time. We have to go eat. Don't worry, you can play again later. Then let's go eat quickly. Yeah. And I'm already hungry. And don't mind getting some extra energy. I hope there will be a delicious lunch today and not like yesterday's broccoli soup. Broccoli soup is very healthy, JJ. Come on in. The other kids are long past lunchtime. As long as those kids don't eat our lunch. What are you talking about, JJ? There's one plate for every two people. No one's gonna eat your lunch. That's what I believed. Are you guys joking around again? Hee hee hee. Let's go eat before the food gets cold. We'll eat and go about our business. Sure, we're right in the business, Mikey. There's your table over there. You can sit down. Enjoy your meal. Thank you very much. It smells really good. Let's go eat. I wonder if everyone here has the same food? Or do they give someone else different food? I don't know, JJ. Look at that. They're all different. But our food isn't lamb poop. Let's eat already. Do you like being here, JJ? Yes, of course I do. It's beautiful. And the food is delicious. I would eat here more often. I meant at the orphanage. Do you like it? Ah, yeah. I like it here. The people here are nice. They treat us well, too. The food is good, too. On the whole, I agree with you, JJ. Guys, let's finish eating. We're scheduled for an afternoon nap. Oh, no. What daytime nap? We wanted to go for another walk. Yeah, and I haven't finished eating yet. But on the other hand, I don't mind lying down and resting for a while. I agree with you, Mikey. Let's go get some rest. Can we go to our playground again with JJ after the day's rest? Yes, after your vacation, you can go play. Cool, Mikey. Let's stay in bed for an hour and go play. Thank you, orphanage teacher. You're welcome. Go to your room. Bye. How lucky we are that she is very kind. Let's go get some rest, JJ. Yeah, that's right. I have heard that many teachers are cruel and unfair to their students. That's awful. It shouldn't be like this. Write in the comments if your teachers are good and if you like them. This is our room, JJ. We can come in and relax. How convenient that we have a room for two with no extra people. It's true. What a beautiful and cozy room, too. I love it here. I love it here, too. And the beds are comfortable. Let's get some rest, JJ. Nice. I just have a favor to ask of you. Can you go to the store with me? I'm a little undernourished. We'll go back and forth quickly and rest. All right, Mikey, let's go. Just as long as nobody sees us. Thank you, JJ. Let's go see if anyone's in the hallway. You just have to be quiet as a mouse or they'll scold you. I'm out, JJ. I don't think anyone's around, so let's take it slow. That's great. Everything's going according to plan. Let's hurry up and go before anyone sees us. I love what we're doing. I got a little adrenaline rushing through my body. Take your time, Mikey. There might be people here who can see us. Don't be so hard on yourself. I've been through everything. No one's here. We can go. Cool, Mikey. I have a lot of fun doing that. Yay! It adds a new emotion to ordinary life. Here we are. This is the closest store. And it's also a good store. There is a very large selection. He also works all night. We can come here at 1 in the morning. What do you want to get for yourself at the store? Something tasty. We should go look. That's right. Hello. We're here to buy groceries. Hello, guys. Sure, come on in and buy whatever you want. Thank you. We'll quickly buy everything and go. Let's go this way, JJ. Let's see what we can buy. There's a huge selection of what you can buy, Mikey. And t-shirts and trinkets. 
You can even buy fruit. Yes, it's a very nice store, JJ. I like it. We should buy one already and go to our orphanage. Cashier, now give me all your money. Look at Mikey. It's a robber with a gun. Oh my god, JJ. What are we gonna do? I'm scared. Let's run away. No, Mikey. We have to stop him. Hey, you robber, stop doing that. Have you lost your fear? Get out of here, boy, or I'll shoot you. No, we're not leaving here. You don't have to do this. Put your gun away and stop scaring ordinary civilians. You think you're the bravest? Then take a bullet in the head. <coughs> Mikey, it's okay. I'm alive. <coughs> Is that me lying down? Am I dead? <coughs> Mikey, I'm here. Look over here. Can you see me? <coughs> have I become a ghost? Did I really get killed? I should have listened to Mikey. JJ, why did you even go to him? I told you to run away. I wanted to save you. I thought he wouldn't shoot me. Hear me, Mikey. We should run to the orphanage and tell them what happened. How am I supposed to live without you, JJ? I'm right here, Mikey. Two hours later. I don't know what's going on, but I think I've become a ghost. Hey, Mikey, stop. Where are you going so fast? Stop crying already. I'm not completely dead yet. Please calm down. You're such a crybaby. Oh, my God. He can't even hear me. Mikey, you have to tell the teacher. She should call the police over there. Stop whining and start taking action. So, you want to adopt Mikey? That's a very good option. Who? There he is. A very obedient and handsome boy. He's in tears, but that doesn't matter. What kind of people are these? They're here to adopt Mikey? What about me? He can't be taken alone. We're taking him. Yes, a good worker. I don't agree. I'm not going anywhere. What? How dare you talk to dad like that? Do you want to adopt him yet? Take him now. Okay, pack it up. We're going to be great parents. Let me go. Let Mikey go now. He's my brother. I'm not going to let you just take him away. It's not a thing. Come again. We have a lot of unwanted children. You are always welcome. One is enough for us for now. What? Why so fast? You guys are weird. I'm not leaving you, Mikey. Three hours later. Stop. Don't go away! You're not taking my Mikey away from me! He's my brother! Give him back to me! It's not your toy! We're finally here, darling. This little guy screamed so much on the way. You're bad! I don't want to be your son! Shut up, ow, you ow, little ow, baby! Ow, ow, ow. Let's go inside. We need to find a normal place for him. Let him go right now, you two stupid adults! They're treating my brother too badly. How can I help him? I'm just a ghost. Shake him up. Okay! Ow, 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 ow. That's it! He needs to be treated better. He'll work for us without rest. What kind of work? He's just a kid. Friends, do you also think it's a bad idea to work as a child? Write about it in the comments. It's a time for fun and relaxation. It's against the law to work at that age. We're too too young for that. Where are you taking him? I think you'll be comfortable in this basement. That's where we're gonna keep that stupid kid. It's not a dog. People don't live in a cage. Now you're gonna live here. You have a lot of work tomorrow. What kind of work? You adopted me. I don't want to live here. Now you sit there, kid. I'm not some animal. I'm a human being. Let me out, please. You'll get out of here just to get a job. No one will come and help you. I'll help. You can't do this to me. You'll be deprived of your parental rights. We don't care. No one will find you. You are the worst parents ever. Jesus, Mikey, hold on. I'll never leave you here alone. I'm going to find a way to get you out of here. Please don't cry. How could our teacher give you away so easily to these freaks? We just have to not give up. Yeah, sleep is what we need right now. The grates here are too strong. I don't know how Mikey can break them with his little hands. There's nothing I can do to help him. The next day. Oh my God, can ghosts sleep too? I didn't know that. Hey, wake up there. The prisoner's starved. Give me some soup, lots of soup. Yeah, Mikey's pretty pissed off today. I'm hungry, I'm very hungry. I'm gonna chew on these bars. Who was yelling at me this morning? I'm gonna punch you in the head. I forbid you to make that kind of noise. I can't live without food for long. Oh, you're hungry, huh? We have jobs for you around the house. You get it done, you can eat. Come on, get out of here and go to the first floor. How vile you guys are. Come on, come on, follow me, baby. Okay, I'm on my way. I wonder what kind of job awaits him. Oh my god, there's so much garbage. They're really dirty pigs. Here's a rake for you. Go and clean it. Mikey's gonna take forever to clean this place alone. There's no way I'd clean this place up. Get started now. Oh my god, why did they bring the trash cans in off the street? Don't even think about running away from here, kid. We have huge locks on the main door. You're gonna stay here forever. It's a good idea to adopt you, isn't it? Also, all the windows have bars. Escape is impossible. It's not a house. It's a big prison.
Listen. Come on, do some janitorial work. And we'll go have fun. While they're laying there, Mikey's gonna be working here alone. How am I supposed to get out of here? There's no way out. If JJ were around right now, maybe we could get out of this place. Mikey, I'm here. Why can't you hear me? JJ, are you here or am I imagining things? I'm here. I'm in ghost form. You can hear me, but you can't see me. Oh, that's awesome. I knew you wouldn't leave me, my brother. Mikey, you need to get out of here right now. We just have to find a way to do it. I have no idea where the weak spot is in this house. We need to look. This house can't be perfect in terms of defense. But Mikey, I don't see any way to escape at all. JJ, you're a ghost. You can walk through walls. Fly through that wall behind the painting. Uh, really? I've never done that. I don't think I can do it. So try it right now. We don't have any other options. Okay, okay. I've never done this before. It's even easier than I thought. So what do we have here? Some old garage and an exit to the street. But how do I get Mikey out here? Friends, would you like to be able to fly through walls? Write about it in the comments. And I still don't know how to get Mikey out of here. Mikey, there's an exit to the street behind that wall. I can't break down walls or carry you through them. Uh, so there's an exit behind this wall? All we have to do is break it down. Yeah, but Mikey, how are you gonna break down that solid wall? I don't know. Maybe I should try to break it with my rake. A rake? But you need them for leaves and trash. JJ, that's a very sturdy rake. Plus, the wall here is pretty rotten. Perfect place for a hole. Seriously? You just break down walls like that? You're a genius. Yeah, I'm surprised at how easy it was. And they spent a lot of money to buy locks and install bars on the windows. Yeah, they obviously didn't expect this from us. Now where do we go? We're going back to the orphanage. That's the only place where we can have a normal life. Uh-oh, I think I'm disappearing. What's going on? Oh my god, where am I? You're in the hospital, kid. We were able to save your life. Before that, you were in a coma. Now you are back in the world of the alive. Whoa, cool. And I thought I was completely dead. But I'm still gonna make it through this life. Hey, we managed to get you out of that world. Don't risk your life like that again. Okay, I'll try my best. Thank you, doctor. That's my job. Glad you're alive again. I'm actually surprised a man survived a bullet to the forehead. You're a very lucky man. Nobody would have survived but you. Now go home. I have a lot of things to do. Thank you again, doctor. You're the best. Bye-bye. JJ. Mikey? You're alive! I'm so glad! My little brother is bulletproof! But what are you doing here, Mikey? I didn't tell you I was in the hospital. I didn't realize I was here myself. JJ, I'm your brother. I would never leave you. Your voice is gone. And you thought I'd wake up in a hospital. That's smart. Yeah, where else would you be? I don't think you'd still be lying in that store. You know anything can happen. It's good to be back together. Yes, I agree. Meanwhile... Hey, JJ. Hi, Mikey. Let's hurry home. Mom's making a delicious lunch. Wow, I was just getting hungry. Yeah. I can already smell the wonderful smell of food. Yeah, I'm really hungry, too. I think our mom is making roast turkey with lemon honey sauce and rice on the side. Huh, I don't think our mom put that much effort into cooking. <gasps> Are you doubting our mom's abilities? No. Yeah, JJ, because you said so yourself. That's not what I meant. And I'm going to tell our mom. You won't do it. I'll do it. Uh, hi, Mom. Hi. And Dad, hi. Hi. What do you mean you're going to do it? Mom and JJ oh said my you God. can't. Boys, wait. Daddy and I have news for you. I'm saved. Yes, we wanted to give you a little surprise. We're going to the park today for a picnic. Oh. So that's why there was such a wonderful smell coming from the house. Huh, that's good to hear. Thanks for not telling her, Mikey. It's okay, I was kidding, JJ. <clears throat> well, we're ready to go. Oh, well, now that you've talked enough and are ready to go, we have no choice but to go. Huh, okay, Dad. Our dad is so funny. You look just like him. I don't know what you're talking about. Kids, don't be long. Okay, Mom, we're on our way. Let's go, JJ. <laughs> we're gonna go fast. So try to keep up with us, okay? Okay, Mom. Wow, looks like we're in for a sports vacation today. Uh, kids, hurry up. Oh, but I don't want sports. JJ, that was a joke. Oh, no. It's gonna be awesome. It took us a while, but here we are at the entrance to the park. Wow. Yeah. Well, guys, aren't you tired of walking yet? I'm a little tired. I'm fine. Well, we still have a little way to go. Mommy, how much further do we have to go? Oh, just a little bit. Three miles. Oh, Mikey, don't joke around. Hee hee hee. It's not true, is it? Don't worry. We don't have that far to go. Hmm. Yeah, JJ, that was 100% a joke. Mikey, with jokes like that, I'm going to stop believing you. Huh? I doubt it. You'll see. Oh, how beautiful this lake is. Blue water, clear shore. I could sit here all day. Huh, we're definitely not going to be here all day. Dad, but why? There's so much food and so many drinks. I could totally sit here all day. That's because I have another surprise for you. Oh! Hmm, interesting, interesting. Come on, show them. So here comes the surprise. <gasps> I bought bicycles for our whole family. Oh my god. Dad, this is the best surprise. 
surprise ever. Yeah. Are there really bicycles for me and JJ? Hmm. Of course I bought a bicycle for each of you two. Cool. So we can all ride around this beautiful park together. Wow, Dad, that's really cool. I love it. Yay, they love the surprise. Oh, yes. Let's go for a ride in the park in this beautiful sunny weather. Hmm. We really lucked out with the weather. They just didn't promise rain today. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Oh, uh, what? Oh, why is it raining? It's very strange because it wasn't supposed to rain. Oh, I don't like it. Mom, I'm scared. We can get out of here as soon as possible. Of course. We're getting out of here right now. Okay. Come on, let's get on our bicycles and go. Come on, you both mustn't get sick. Okay, Mom. Let's hurry up. Okay, let's go. Mikey, I have a really bad feeling about this. JJ, it's just rain. Let's go. Hmm. Okay, if everyone's ready, let's go. Kids, keep up. It feels like something's wrong. Let's go, JJ. Was it just me or did I just see lightning flashing? If there's a thunderstorm, I'm absolutely terrified. Mikey doesn't even care about what's going on. I just hate loud noises, the horror. I really hope everything goes well. I just want to get out of here as soon as possible. JJ, keep up. Okay. Guys, we're approaching the bridge. Be careful. Okay, Dad. It's raining so hard. Wait for me. Hmm, it's not so bad to ride in the rain. Honey, you have to understand the risks we're taking. Oh, my God. Oh, come on. It's going to be okay. We can all get sick. Yay, rain. Oh, my God. I want to go home. Whoa, there's a thunderstorm. Guys, let's hurry it up. Hurry up, hurry up. Mom, it's not that scary. Zippers are very dangerous. Ah! Ouch. What was that? Oh, JJ. Mikey? <laughs> How could this happen, my brother? Mikey, don't cry. I'm okay. Look. Uh... JJ, get up. Oh, my God. What is this? I've become a ghost. How could this happen? JJ, we're sorry. Mikey, I'm here. <laughs> we're sorry we brought you here. Mikey. I didn't mean for this to happen. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Oh, Mom and Dad. <laughs> Mikey, what happened? Mikey. Mommy, Daddy. This is a nightmare, darling. Dad, I'm here. Our son. JJ, my boy, I'm sorry for our adventure. We shouldn't have come here. <laughs> Mikey, no one is to blame for this situation. You're right, Dad. We'll take JJ with us and give his body a decent burial. Isn't there anything more that can be done? No, my brother. But I'm here. Why can't they see me? Even though I'm a ghost now, I want to be seen. Mom and Dad, I'm so scared without you. My son wasn't athletic at all, but there were lots of things I wanted to teach him. JJ, you were the best brother ever. You always protected me, thank you. My son, you were the most adorable baby in the world. May you never be troubled again. Yes, and I'd like to say something. Are you all crazy? I'm still here. Don't keep me before my time. Beautiful baby. Yes. Uh, they can't hear me at all. Hmm, the photo's good. But I want to talk to you, Mom. And you, Dad. And Mikey. Mom, I'm already a little cold. Yeah, I think we should go. Dad, no. Mm. Mom, tell him. Yeah, I think we should go, too. I'm right here, right next to you. Don't go, please. My son. JJ, we'll come and see you. You have our word. Yes, we'll come once a week. It's decided. Then we should go. Oh, hmm. Mom and Dad, you both just walk away from me so easily. Uh, Mikey? JJ, if you're still here, please let us know. Uh, I miss you so much, Mikey. We should go home now. I'm on my way. Hmm. Mikey, I really miss you all, too. So I'll let you know I'm still around. I'll act like a real ghost. Huh. I'll show you the full power of a disgruntled ghost. Just don't be afraid of me. Two hours later. Hey, wait for me. Mom, Dad, can you hear me? Mikey, at least pay attention to me. I can't be alone anymore. I need to talk to you. Oh, I can't believe our little boy is no longer with us. What do you mean you're not with me? Here I am in front of you. I can't open doors. Wait, I'm a ghost. I can walk through walls. Yay, I did it. Honey, I realize this is hard for you as much as it is for me, but I don't think JJ would want you to suffer. I think you're right. Mom, Dad, I'm here, in front of you. Pay attention to me. I think it's all to no avail. We should go up to Mikey's and try to talk to him. I hope Mikey is in our room right now. I still can't get used to having to go through walls. Here I am in the room. Mikey's here too. Hey, Mikey, can you hear me? It's me, JJ. Talk to me. This doesn't seem to be working. We gotta find a way to get his attention. Oh, it's chalk. We should write something on the wall like... Mikey, I'm here. I hope it works. That's it. I think it's pretty good. Now, I gotta get Mikey to look at that sign. Hey, Mikey, look at the wall. Come on, that's the only way. You'll know I'm here. What? Where did that sign come from? Mikey, I'm here. No way. Maybe JJ wrote it? Hmm, I should tell my parents. Mom, Dad, there. There's JJ wrote a sign on the wall. Come on, I'll show it to you. What? Son, I know it's hard for you right now, but JJ died. But I'm telling the truth. 
Mikey. Wait a second, Mikey, and they'll believe you. Let me get the plates. Son, JJ will always be in our hearts, but he is no longer with us. What? What is this? It's Ghost. Honey, it can't be Ghost. I told you, it's JJ. He's the one throwing plates to get our attention. Mikey, this can't be happening. It's a picture from the picnic. I should give it to them so they know it's me. I don't believe it's JJ either. Maybe this will make you believe? What? Where did the picture come from? That's the same picture JJ and I took at the picnic. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe JJ's waiting for us at that place. Let's go there, please. Oh, honey, maybe he's right. Let's go check it out. Get a picnic basket, too. Okay, dear. Mikey, let's go take a look. Yay! You believed me. Let's go over there. Maybe he's already waiting for us. You're right, Mikey. Come on, hurry up. Finally, they figured it out. I hope they can see me, and I'll tell them everything. I didn't get a chance to tell them then. JJ, you in here? Son, come on. Where are you? We're here for you. Hey, I'm here. Can you even hear me? What? It's raining like last time. JJ, it's really you? I can't believe my eyes. Son, we miss you so much. It seems when it rains, they can see me. My family, I love you so much. You gave me the best years of my life. I'm sorry I left you so soon. I'll miss you. Son, I'm sorry if anything was wrong. We'll remember you for the rest of our lives. I'm sorry again. JJ, we love you too. Don't apologize. It's okay. Come here. I want to hug you before you go. Come on, Mikey. I want to hug you too. JJ, don't leave us. I beg you. You'll be the best brother in the world. We love you. You're the best brother in the world too. But I gotta go. I love you too. <laughs> don't go. I'm begging you. Six months later... here in six months. This place just makes me sad. All right, I'm gonna go to JJ's grave. His grave must be here somewhere. Ah, there it is. My favorite brother. If you knew how much I miss you. Sometimes I wish you would come alive and be with me forever, but that's just my dreams. What? It's raining again? It looks like the same thunderstorm that killed JJ. <gasps> what? Where am I? I don't understand. The whole place looks like a cemetery. What? Is Mikey here? But how? No way! Looks like this thunderstorm has given me my life back. JJ, is that really you? I can't believe it. I missed you so much and so did mom and dad. Let's promise each other we won't ride bikes in thunderstorms anymore. Yes, I agree with you. Guys, if you enjoyed today's adventure, then put your likes and subscribe to the channel. JJ and Mikey were with you. Bye!